Before I can start teaching multiplication of radicals, we need a whiteboard, a whiteboard marker, and a math notebook. So radicals, we can add, subtract, divide, and multiply them. But today, we will focus on multiplication of radicals. So here's an easy example. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is... Final answer, square root of 6. And here's the solution. Square root of 3 times square root of 2 is similar to 3 times 2. The only difference is we need to put a radical sign. So, in multiplication, there's a rule where you can't multiply a whole number to a number with a radical sign. You will only combine them. You can only multiply a whole number to a whole number and a number with a radical sign to a number with a radical sign. So here's a harder or complicated question. Cube root of 2 times square root of 3 is? Feel free to pause the video if you want a longer time to answer. Final answer, 6th root of 108. And here's the solution. First thing is, we will just copy the 2 and 3. It became 1 third because 3 is the index of 2, and 2 is the index of 3. 2 and 3 has a least common denominator or LCD, which is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's why it became 3 over 6. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. That's why it became 2 thirds. And then we rewrite it in this way, with 6 being the index. 2 squared is 4. 3 cubed is 27. We put it under a radical sign and copy the index, which is 6. Final answer, 6 root of 108 because 27 times 4 is 108. And then we copy the index, which is 6, and the radical sign. So, that is it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and you liked it. Bye!